Sorry about that. Okay. So, all right. So, um, so those were a couple of projects that I did that I actually don't have with me right now because I have to wash them because I've been working. I've been wearing them to work. Okay. Um, but I will show you them soon um, in my next video. Um, another thing that I've been um, working on is um, I've been doing a little knitting. So I'm really excited about that because the weather's gotten a bit cooler and I've been able to pick up my needles and do a little bit of knitting. And I'm really happy about this. Look at this. Woo! This is great, isn't it? Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. Um, again, with the loungewear inspired look, this I've done sort of like a knit camisole. I'm doing a knit camisole, which um, I'm very excited about. And let me show you something having to do with the construction of this. It's very simple. I did um, a little bit of, um, uh, Oh, what's the name of the stitch? Not the stocking it, but the other one, garter stitch. So a little bit of garter stitch at the bottom, letting it roll up, and then stocking it through the body. I um, measured this so that it would be exactly close to the body. Um, and then uh, garter stitch again to make a band underneath the... Um, underneath the um, breasts and then doing the um, the cups I did um, oh, I'm forgetting the name of all my stitches I did it so that there's a little bit of ease here just like you would do a sock um, giving it a little bit of extra ease in there reducing the stitches then casting off completely and then casting on some edging around here and i'm really happy with this i did oh, my glasses i did like peacoat uh bind off which I haven't done before. And it makes these little things here. And it's so cute because I think that it gives it like sort of a lingerie kind of look, but in a knit. And um, I'm really happy with this because um, I really did a lot of measuring, a lot of fit around my body because as always, um, I am very interested in fit. I'm very interested in the the clothes fitting the body not the body fitting the clothes that's the point of um doing your own um designs and your own um work is that you get a fit that's absolutely perfect to your body that celebrates your body makes your body look beautiful the way that it is and that is what the, the clothes should be doing. The clothes should be like flattering your body and bringing out your body's um, best attributes. You should not be making your body to fit the, the clothes. That's not the point. The, uh, uh, you shouldn't look like a sausage and you shouldn't be like changing yourself, um, celebrating your energy, your ability to... Um, to perform your muscle tone, your fat, whatever it is. Fat is energy after all, you know, it's stored energy. And to celebrate that as opposed to um, hiding it, um, accentuating it in a positive way, okay? So I'm doing these, these little peacoat um, bind off and I'm almost done with the second cup. And then I'm gonna do a peacoat bind off as well. Um, I did it so that, um, so that I'm like basically um, casting on from, 
I'm basically using what I was thinking about is I was thinking about using the same principles like I started thinking about it and I was like, wow, you know, when we knit, we often knit in like a box as though our body is a box. Um, and we don't use the same, um, for some reason, we don't use the same uh, principles of fit that we would use when we were sewing um, uh, sewing uh, woven garments um, to, to fit each piece so that it conforms to the body. Instead, we're just doing a straight box and um, not thinking about that. So I thought, well, why can't I do the same thing with like knitting as I do for sewing, which is um, to think about the construction so that um, the construction uh, is, uh, is uh, fitting better towards um towards the body and again um you know uh letting the garment uh fit the body um instead of just a sort of amorphous boxy thing that's not going to be very flattering all right so that's what i did so i did these different sections and also knit in itself has um a lot of give so that's really nice because like I can fit it close to the body and it has the natural give. And this is nice um, wool here. It's really soft and it's really nice. And it's not, um, it's not gonna be itchy, I don't think. Um, and if it is itchy, I'm actually, it's gonna be sort of a little bit of, even though it's a camisole style, it's actually gonna be kind of um, a sweater vest, which I like very much with um, probably I'll wear it with like a cardigan. Um, so probably little camisole type top underneath, something like this, you know, with sweater vest style on top and then um, a cardigan um, on top. Very, very comfortable, wearable. I like to wear um, layers during the winter because it tends to be that I get hot and I get cold. And so then I can take things off and put them on and I can be very comfortable. And wool, of course, is wonderful because it's a very breathable um, uh, uh, fiber. And, um, you know, wool really is like the best thing to, um, to knit with of all, all the, even the wool with a little bit of acrylic in it. I know people don't like acrylic because, oh, it's not a natural fiber, but sometimes like wool with a little bit of acrylic in it is really like a good thing. There are some really nice ones, okay? So I'm almost done with that. The only thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some stretchy straps. They're probably gonna either cross in the back or they're gonna go down straight in the back. I haven't quite decided. Or um, what I might do is stretchy straps and then probably buttons over here so that I can adjust it whatever way. Maybe I'll wear it some days, I'll wear it straight, and some days I'll wear it crossed over, depending on how much my back hurts. Okay, so that's that, that's one thing. Okay, another thing that I have been um, interested in and that I've been seeing a lot and noticing a lot in my interest in vintage fashion is a, um, oh, I have something else to show you actually reminds me speaking of that is um uh that there's a lot of stuff out there to me that looks very victorian i think that that's very interesting because i think that in a certain manner we've gotten into like a very victorian um era i've said this to my daughter a couple times and she's like oh you're always saying that because i think that um again there's sort of like a renewed interest in ideas of ethics and morality and um I would call it uh, self-restraint. Um, that's been obviously like a big topic with all these, um, you know, political things that are going on is like an idea of like, what are the rights of the individual and what are the rights of uh, society as a whole? Um, uh, this was something that was of uh, great importance to the Victorians. They thought about this quite a lot. And I think that the clothing of today, we're going back to like the, the Victorian era, 
um, in a lot of the different styles um, because that because fashion actually as well as it being um, an expression of the self and expressing of your own like self-esteem and internal state it's also an expression of the um, political climate as well because after all it's a very definitive um, it's a very definitive um, statement what you wear it's the first message that you give to people even before you speak to them you uh your um your appearance so um so what i notice is i'm noticing high necks i'm noticing a lot of ruffles um femininity which uh you know as opposed to the other um uh, trend towards menswear there's also um sort of a, a lot of femininity a lot of flora patterns a lot of ruffles a higher neck things like that that i've noticed um things not fitting quite so close to the body being a little bit more flowy and open um so i decided to do a circle skirt it's such an easy kind of thing now i had a tablecloth a vintage tablecloth that i love i got it in the vintage um store and i've always loved it but i don't really use tablecloth that often but i love the fabric look at this fabric oh my god let me get close there so you can see how beautiful it is oh my god isn't that so pretty it's already like just a circle and i'm like god why am i wasting my time using this as a tablecloth when it's a perfect circle skirt. So I decided to just add a waistband. So I'm working on that and it's so fun. It's like a little prairie skirt. 